Good day, welcome to Daily News Update on Flip TV. My name is Peace Oladipo. The Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu, has constituted a six member committee to address the incessant grid collapse. This was made known in a statement on Tuesday by Bolaji Tunji, Special Advisor Strategic Communication and Media Relations to the Minister. He said the committee would advise the federal government on necessary solutions to make the national grid robust and reliable. Members of the committee include Nafisa Ali, Executive Director, Independent System Operation, who leads the committee, Dr. Chidi Ike, Commissioner, NERC Engineer Ishola, General Manager, National Control Center, others are Emmanuel Nosike, Director of Transmission, Ministry of Power, Ali Sharifai, General Manager Transmission Service Provider and Adebayo Olowoni, Chief Technical Advisor to the Minister of Power. Tunji said the committee members are expected to present a report to the Minister on November 1st. The committee is to also establish the root cause of both incidents, especially a review of potential sabotage on the system. The committee will holistically review the national grid stability and identify investment and technical capacities required to make the grid smart and resilient he stated according to him the minister expressed displeasure at the incident which he said was capable of rubbishing the giant strides made in the last one year tunji recalled that on october 14th there was a partial collapse due to the tripping of a line at Jeba Transmission Substation and recurring fault at Oshogbo Transmission Substation. He said that efforts to restore the grid further resulted in a setback the following day. The system was however fully restored on October 16th. There was no grid collapse on Tuesday as was widely speculated as the setback was a continuation of Monday's restoration efforts on the national grid. Tunji said the committee was an addition to the ongoing efforts of the government like the Presidential Power Initiative and the Nigerian Electric Transmission Project to ensure reliable power supply. According to him, a technical team had also been deployed to access the critical nodes on the national grid to identify potential vulnerabilities and prefer recommendations to prevent future disruptions. The minister had invited the leadership of the Nigerian Electricity Regulation Commission NERC, and the transmission company of Nigeria TCN at the weekend to an emergency meeting over the grid disturbance. That's all the news update. My name is Peace Oladipo. Thank you. Oladipo.